In today's video, I want to talk about a few things that are really problematic in Type Soul. I don't hate the game, but I think we can all agree that PvP and a lot of the other functions need some work. So today I'll be talking about everything that needs to be changed in Type Soul for balancing, UIs, and everything else that I hate about this terrible game. It's not terrible, I actually love it, and I love the dev team. Anyway, make sure to subscribe since only about 20% of the people watching right now are actually subscribed. Also, I am currently streaming on Twitch. Right now, I'm playing Type Soul, I'm doing Ranked, I'm doing Ganks, I'm doing all that. Come to my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash RayContor. Now let's get into it. Real quick, I just wanted to correlate something. But you guys ever have that hood moment when you're getting jumped by like five people and then you pull out the switch and lay them all out? That's the equivalent of popping your mode while you're getting ganked in type soul. Anyway, I just wanted to say real quick, Tammy Yarn is my favorite dev. Also, SB is pretty cool. And please give me the content creator role in the Discord. I got egoed and ignored by a guy with like 500 subs. And then he said, I have the CC role. Don't talk to me. Like, oh my God, that shattered my ego. Please, I need the role. <laughs> Anyway, on to some balancing adjustments. First, let's talk about Visionary Shrift. The Meteor Shower move needs to be severely nerfed. It has little to no windup, and for some reason, Visionary users are able to move stack on top of it. Which is dumb, because if one Meteor hits you, it stuns you. And all three Meteors stun, meaning you're gonna eat an entire combo on top of the three Meteors that just got dropped directly on top of you from the orbit or whatever. Now, the devs might not actually care about balanced, because when asked, SB said this, which I think is actually really funny. Anyway, about Quincy Keto. Focal Point was made to combo into Still Silver, but the move is slower than anyone can flash step now because it got nerfed, so now Focal Point is just not good. But on top of that, Focal Point has a global cooldown with Still Silver that makes them useless because you can't combo them together anymore. Instead of just nerfing the moves, they decided to take the two moves meant to combo into each other, and they just removed the combo. Very well designed. I think what they should have done instead was either nerf the cooldowns on each of them and then not put a global cooldown on it or nerf the damage or the stun or the auto tracking or any other variable in relation to that move because uh does it work in the way that it does it doesn't so please revert that and now i'm not a, i'm not a quincy player but that just shouldn't exist in the way it does right now on top of that there's so many counter moves in the game right now with like zero end lag or startup meaning that you can use them to escape combos for free and mistiming them results in no punishing whatsoever like ice has a counter the newer shikai has like a counter or two counters or something and then there's just this one move that i keep seeing random people use that's also a counter i just keep getting hit with counters that i don't remember being in the game like seven months ago when it first came out and let's talk about the newly buffed kendo if i see another person curve flower passage into a fucking mobius strip and proceed to guard break me after they just covered like five miles in like a two meter radius because they keep curving in and out with it i'm going to mm, i'm gonna i'm gonna rip my arms off bro and then they they guard break me I have like 65, 70 extra posture, and it, they're still guard breaking me with flower passage. Kendo just has every guard break ever, which really isn't a problem most of the time because I have posture regen with Jagger Jack Clan and 70 extra posture. But every once in a while, I'll be in a 3v1 and I'll get guard broken like six times in a row by the five Soul Reapers who are spamming flower passage, and then their one Arankar buddy who's spamming other things with his keto build. And also, you're telling me every single part of my build got nerfed? Let's talk about Stark Partial Res, which got nerfed. The Wolf just does no posture damage, Cerro Corazon does no posture damage, and now people can walk out of it by just blocking. So if you block Cerro Corazon, you don't need to parry it, you just need a block. If you block it, just hold F and walk to the left, because you can walk out of it now. And the third Cerro gun move, which Stark has, I forget what it's called, just wasn't ever good. But then on the other hand, we have Vamp. Vamp Phage still auto command grabs and cancels your ray regen for like 10 seconds. And on top of that, both Vamp moves have complete hyper armor. And the other one is a massive AoE explosion that sucks you into it for a free combo. And why does the Phage scream blind? I already have to run away for 10 seconds or else he gets a quarter of his health back. Making it harder to see isn't a cool game mechanic. It's annoying. I don't like visual effects which is also why the miracle blind get rid of that my entire screen turns white i get flash banged in real life and for some reason hollow bite can move stack into fireflies for a combo extension that shouldn't exist get rid of this 
And Cero and Fuse, why does it bypass all armor? Iran cars already have the highest defense in the game, but for some reason they need an ability that bypasses all armor for some reason. And Iran car Keto can just move stack their entire kit and take two bars off of you for basically free. How are you gonna tell me I'm fighting you and you just move stacked eight moves? Huh? I can't even move stack one move, bro. I use speed in Hakuda and my entire kit's been nerfed. I don't even know why the devs really pushed the game out so hard without some better balancing mechanics. Like, there was zero pressure to release the game. You guys had no deadline, no nothing. There was seven players on this game, and you still managed to revive it and get up to like 40k. There was no pressure, and you still released it without testing and rebalancing. And can we just talk about the new ranked arena? It's very bad. The rank system is garbage. Currently, there's no ranked or skill-based matchmaking, so one game you go against Hakuda Quincy with 300,000 elo while you're unranked, who true combos you for 20 seconds straight, and the next game you go against Ichigo Kikichi, who's playing at 15 FPS with balanced stats, 20 kendo, 20 speed, and then like 15 healing. And that's half the time, because you can't even get into a ranked match the other half the time because it fails to load. And so many of the CC players have essence builds that do 20% more damage for no reason. Okay, so halfway through making this video, they actually recently added skill-based matchmaking systems, which uh, take your elo into account when putting you into a match with people. So good job, devs. I love you guys, especially Tammy Aran. And uh, you can ignore that last point I made. Not the one about the essences, because those still do like all my health and damage, despite the fact that I am in a wrong car with all of the healing stuff. But the ranked, it's better now, so that's good. And can we talk about the new Quincy Fist weapon that wasn't tested? It just wasn't tested. It has a Hakuda crit that guarantees a combo, both ground and midair. And the funny part is that both the ground and midair versions of the critical have independent cooldowns. So you can extend your crit combo by using the, the, the up tilt moves and then hit him into another crit in the air, which then guarantees him into another combo. And then the devs, they just don't like telling us things. Like, why is this so inconsistent? Look at the dev update logs. They give us numbers for spirit gun cooldown being five seconds, but they don't give numbers for Fio Shunko crit cooldown reduction, eviscerate damage lowered percentages, Barrerix or whatever, posture damage change, or spirit gun shot speed buff. Give us the numbers. We want to know if they're significant. You give us an actual statistic for every one in 10 battles balancing updates when you could literally just like look at the code that you have and then just tell us what the new numbers are. I know you guys can see it. The little variable that says cooldown next to next to Shunko crit, which is another variable you have in Roblox Studio. Put the number for that next to the equal sign. Put that in the update logs. And let's talk about the new boss in Katakura Town. First of all, hitboxes. They are insanely atrocious. I'm getting hit by moves that aren't anywhere near me. Second of all, he's way too strong, so just tone down the damage and posture damage he does and fix his hitboxes. And I know the community consists of a lot of dumb kids because the devs need to add codes every update or people start crying. But for all those dumb kids watching, you don't need legendaries. You really don't. Bone, for example, 30 second cripple, hard stunning multi-hit moves with AoEs. And people were also saying compulsory was bad, but the moves for compulsory literally combo into each other for like a free 10% damage. At this point, Bowen is probably also better than Stark, excluding the full res and Segunda versions, which are situational at best because mode is only usable once every half an hour after spending 20 minutes filling up your meter. And the boned ranged move that auto tracks still doesn't cancel if you parry the first one. So if you parry the first one, the next one will hit you because you're on parry cooldown. So you either have to block and eat the posture damage or just get hit, which happens a lot of the time because you're mid parry from the last bone projectile. Literally the only time they have ever nerfed something without making it significantly worse was Blood Bankai. I guess in comparison it is significantly worse, but it's balanced now. It used to have complete no stun, so you could walk through everything and hit people. You could walk through literally everything. And the nerfs given to Blood Bankai made it balanced. They did a great job with that. Props to the developers, they did great working on Blood Bankai. But then they either under nerf things like Vamp, when the vamp kit itself with phage is just fundamentally broken when they're just changing stats as if the stats are the problem or they over nerf things like stark and now people are walking out of my saros i am complaining a bit because my entire build has been pretty much nerfed into the ground at this point i use 10 hawk at a 50 speed with grim jow claws which had a range and posture damage nerf stark which had a wolf tracking range posture damage on every move damage on every move stun cooldown and just about every other nerf you could think of applied to both the good moves and speed which 
which is still good, but most of my build was based on the Grimjaw Claw, comboing into a mixture of Hakata and Speed moves, which no longer work as well. And then with my partial being worse than Bowen, I kind of just have to leave the game if I see someone using a full Hakata build, because I'm about to be stuck in a combo for about a century before half my health, all of my hero is gone, and I'm about to get killed by the next combo. And then, okay, now that I'm done talking about the PvP, I wanted to talk about the game itself and the UIs, because oh my god, I'm going to put something in my brain that I can't say on YouTube because they're gonna give me another community guideline strike, okay? I don't make money from these videos, but I don't want to get banned. Just like, fix the inventory because I don't like pressing N to rearrange my moves. And I think we should maybe separate passive moves in the in the skill tree or like mark them somehow with like a different color or something because accidentally equipping my, my passive moves in my hotbar which I'm not even sure if you could do anymore. I know you could do it like seven months ago, but accidentally putting passives in my hotbar isn't fun. And not being able to open a Garganta at will, having to put it in my inventory, drag it out my inventory, open it, and then put it back into the, the end menu is not fun. I don't like that. Can we get a lot of quality of life updates, please, Type Soul? I mean, all of the quality of life updates. All of the Stark buffs, all the Hakuda, but only with the stuff under 15 buffs. All the Grimchow, Grimjow Claw buffs. All the speed buffs, but only for me. All the the buffs. Give me a title. Give me a give me a Segunda. Give me a give me everything. I want everything. Give me the specs. I want it all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like yapping. Subscribe. Join my Discord. Discord.gg slash Raycon. We got fucking tier three on Discord. R E A C O N. That's the invite link. We got the fucking tier three on Discord. I'm streaming on Twitch. This Saturday, and I'm probably streaming on Twitch right now.